Demonstrating dynamic nature of equilibrium. Take two 100 ml of measuring cylinder marked as 1 and 2 and two glass tubes, each of 30 cm length. Fill half of the measuring cylinder 1 with colored water and keep second cylinder empty. Put one tube in cylinder 1 and second tube in cylinder 2. Immerse one tube in cylinder 1, close its upper tip with a finger and transfer the color water contained in its lower portion to cylinder 2. Using second tube kept in second cylinder, transfer the colored water in a similar manner from cylinder 2 to cylinder 1. In this way, keep on transferring colored water using the two glass tubes from cylinder 1 2, 2 and from 2 to 1 till you notice that the level of colored water in both cylinders becomes constant. If you continue intertransferring colored solution between the cylinders, there will not be any further change in the levels of colored water in two cylinders. This indicates dynamic nature of equilibrium. Law of chemicals, equilibrium and equilibrium constant. At a given temperature, the product of concentration of the reaction products raised to the respective to the stoichiometric coefficients in the balanced chemical equation divided by the product of concentrations of reactants raised to their individual stoichiometric coefficients has a constant value. This is known as the law of chemical equilibrium. We can also say concentration is active mass, which is also called molarity. The equilibrium constant for a general reaction, A A plus B B plus, in equilibrium with C C plus D D, is expressed as equilibrium constant K C equal to C concentration C into D concentration D by A concentration A into B concentration B where concentration A, concentration B, concentration C and concentration D are equilibrium concentrations of the reactants and products. For example, equilibrium constant for the reaction H2G plus I2G in equilibrium with 2HI gas is equilibrium constant Kc equals to HI concentration 2 by H2 concentration into I2 concentration.